right now we are one of the few left you know who still believe all the five senses count we wanted the uh, tea to be uh, tested packed using our hand before we pass it to our customer In the heart of Singapore's Chinatown district lies one of the country's oldest tea merchants, Pik Sen Chun, run by fourth-generation owner Ken Mi Pei. The business started in 1925 and till today maintains the craft of traditional tea blending amid stiff competition by global industrial giants. In Pei Sen Chun, there are easily one, two hundred different types of tea, but one of the main and uh, prominent one would be the Nanyang tea which is the blending of the North and the South uh, teas from the Fujian. Because olden days, because of all the logistic issue, some of the uh, teas, you know, didn't manage to reach us. So uh, our forefather managed to actually uh, try our best to actually blend the tea of a different year. And at the same time, blend the tea of the different region, which is North and the South of uh, Fujian in olden days. And uh, there is this uh, big basket Immediately after the Second World War, my great-grandmother actually bring all the way from China here. Now we use it to blend tea. And uh, using hand, we are using soft power to actually uh, slowly massage the tea leaf. But at the same time, we are able to sense the, uh, whether is it too humid for the tea leaf. You know? So we are able to make the right adjustment. So not to hurt the tea leaf, but at the same time bring the best out of it. And every day we are still keep doing so. After the tea is blended by hand, they are carefully laid out onto trays to be roasted in-house using temperatures specific to each type of tea. Pix and Chun supplies its tea leaves to more than 80% of bakut tea shops in Singapore. For those who enjoy bakut tea, Chinese tea is a must-have. Like in the past, the teas are still deftly hand wrapped in pink paper used by Chinese medical halls. A lot of uh, shops they, they didn't have these uh, uh, red paper and white paper to pack the tea. We still keep this for a simple reason because immediately after Second World War, you know, they run out of the white paper inside. So, out of no choice, we actually approach the medicine hall and uh, eventually they say they only have the red paper. Are you interested? So, we take it up and uh, when the stock came back, you know. We, we still wanted to keep the, uh, the red paper or rather the red pink paper. First of all, it's a little bit more auspicious for Chinese. And secondly, that reminds us of the difficult period that we face. So some of the things we can, we can throw in life, but some of the things we have to keep. Most of the shop's assistants are elderly women, now in their 60s, many of whom have worked in Pix and Chun for over a few decades. The human element is, uh, is our utmost uh, treasure because we have all the elderly that is helping us. That is all the memories that they have, you know, in, in the old tea shop. When we enjoy tea, it's about the bitter sweet that actually give you the best picture of our tea. It's also, you know, in life, without working hard, there isn't any sweetness. So it's through the cup of tea, we are able to slow down our pace and enjoy the beautiful moment around us. <laughs>